beautifuls. I'm just Jackie is here. Yes, I'm here, beautifuls. Listen. And yeah, I know y'all, I know y'all are excited because, honey. It's a hair video. Yes, it's a hair video. Okay. So I decided to come up here, share with my beautifuls. Um, you know what I do when my when my little baby locks get old. So it's time for me to go back and get these jokers um get them retwisted. Okay, because y'all can see all the new rofo, however you want to call it in there. And um, but I, I don't have time to go right now i started a new gig the hours are different the distance from my my hairdress is different so i really got to catch her on the weekend or whatever so i just haven't put that in my schedule yet ignore my face because it is prime so if it looks a little ashy and dusty it's because i have a primer on so y'all know what that means y'all get another video <laughs> Yes, I'm I'm trying to give y'all content, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not 100, 100, 100, but I figure the best thing for me to do is just to stay busy, keep it going, and keep it moving. So basically, y'all see the title of the video, I want to show you a quick little do that I do when, um, when my locks get old and, you know... There's a couple of things that I do when the locks get old. But anyway, I'm just going to show y'all this one in particular. And, um, yeah. And wish me luck because this is the only second attempt I'm doing with this video. I just decided to do it yesterday because I wore the do yesterday. So, anyway. So, it's going to be an updo. I already moisturized my hair, all that good stuff, whatever, whatever. So, this little front section right here. I'm going to try to separate it out. Can y'all see it? trying to separate it out as best as I can is and I don't care about no no even parts or nothing is is not about that life up here okay so like I said I already moisturized and all that stuff so I'm just gonna uh with an oil so I'm just gonna mist my hand with a little water like so because I want to lay my edges down a little bit a little bit a little bit so just like so okay now what am I gonna do next you say I'm pulling all this hair up you know what else I need actually I could do it like this so I'm gonna take one of these um handy dandy bands I'm just gonna call it a band and um I really just want to slick my edges up. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do it now. So, I don't know if y'all remember a video I did. La, 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 la. Focus camera. Focus. It's going to refocus, y'all. Give it a minute. A long, 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 long time ago, I was showing some of my favorites from 2018. I think it was 2018. I don't know. But anyway, this is my favorite edge control right here. Okay. Um, Even. Even edge control, right? So I'm just gonna take a little bit and go like so, and I'm just gonna smooth it on these little edges right here, as y'all can see. Okay, like so. Take another little bit on the finger, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit on here, hold up, a little bit more. Rub it in. And I'm going to do the, the back, right? Okay. So basically what you're going to need to achieve this style, especially if you only got, I don't have length, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to need some bobby pins. And then you're going to, for me, I use a shoestring. Y'all know how I used to do my puff when I had my puff. So I'm using a shoestring. And you're going to need some bobby pins. And you're going to need a nice little silk scarf to, um, tie it down with okay so now with all that being said I'm gonna take this down let me split the halves like so because actually you know what I think I'm gonna switch up the style a little bit I sure am I'm gonna switch it up on y'all a little bit all right so because yesterday I did I had flat twisted it I had did flat twist and um 
flat twisted the hair up and left it a little bit loose. So I don't know, maybe I gotta do that today. See how when you just do different stuff, you you learn a quicker way, better mousetrap. All right, so anyway, if all that being said, I'm just gonna go like this. Take the shoestring, make sure it's even. I'm gonna tie it like so, right? And I'm gonna push the shoestring up. And I'm going to keep tightening it up as I go further up my crown till I get to a desired position. I don't know where the desired position is going to be. I'm just going to desire it right here. Right? Tied in a nice little crispy. I'm talking about crispy. Nice little crispy knot. Yeah, I'm ignorant. So you see I got two little ends right here, right? Well, I'm going to have to redo it. It got loose. All right. See how shit happens when you're trying to record. So anyway, let's try this again, girls and boys. <laughs> okay, so I went up too high. All right. I'm learning. I went up too high. All right, girls. So here we go again. You ready? We're going to do this again. Roll, pull, roll, pull. And maybe I should have did it the way I did it yesterday. But I'm gonna leave it right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it right there. I hope it stays this time. So I'm gonna tie this little thing in the back. You see, I got the two, the little loose, the loosies, right? The little ends. So this is where I take the bobby pins because I don't want the little shoestring ends hanging down. So I just take it. I hope I got the shoestring. And I pin it with the bobby pin. I might have missed it. I don't know. I'm going to take it and do the other one. And pin it up, right? All right. If I have any loose locks hanging, I pin that up too. So now I'm just going to take the, um, what do you call it? The little band off. And go like so. So I want to pull it, pull it, because I don't want the band to really show. I missed the, I did, I missed it. See, told you. Let me go back. I missed the um shoestring. So let me go back. Get that tab one more time. And hopefully, I get it in there, like somewhere. All right, so like so so this is what i'm doing so it's not a puff obviously they're locks and like so and there you go got my little fronts my little frontals and then depending on how these things are hanging or whatever i might take a little bobby pin just to stand them up a little bit Okay, I don't really want them to lay down and stay down. All right, uh, make it work right, and then just so that some of them can stand up a little bit. All right, so now, like I said, I already had laid the edges down and stuff. None of my little locks is hanging outside of the the barricade. That's what I'm gonna call it, the barricade. So, I'm going to take my little silk scarf, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tie it so I can get these edges to lay down like I want them to lay down. So, I'm just going to go like so, like this, push these little bangs up, tie it. In a simple knot. Make sure I got the the area that I want to stay nice and neat and lay down. And then you know what I do? I'm gonna go do my makeup. Yay! So that means y'all gonna see what y'all gonna see in the next video, right? All right. So now you gotta come to the next video. You pretty much know what it's gonna look like, but like I said, it's just you wanna. Y'all know, 
tie them edges down, lay it down like you want to, and keep it moving. And that's what I do in between lock maintenance. All right. If y'all want to see another way I style my hair, leave a comment in the video, and I'll come back with another lock maintenance um, in between uh, hairstyle. Okay. All right. Hey, beautifuls, I'm back. I just want to come here and show y'all the finished do. So here you go, updo, when I need my lock maintenance, and I haven't made it to my appointment yet. Okay, so here you go. Y'all know I love me a good old-fashioned shoestring. Let me give y'all a back shot. I'm going to try to give y'all a back shot. Right there. Let me give y'all a back shot this way. Because if I turn around, I'm scared I'm going to knock something down. So anyway, beautifuls, that is it. That's how... That's one of my many styles that I do. Well, I don't want to say many, but one of a few styles that I do in between lot maintenance. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. This is.